What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how good Kentucky looked in her season opener. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Kentucky opened their season against New Mexico State and they won in a blowout with the final score being 86 to 46. And Coach Cal hits the 100 win milestone in season openers and remains undefeated in home openers with Kentucky. It was a lot of anticipation going into this game because Kentucky has a loaded roster this season. Kentucky entered the season with the number one ranked recruiting class. The freshmen did not disappoint and they all had a solid game. First, let's talk about DJ Wagner. He started the game off slow. He was driving to the rim, but his shot wasn't falling. You could tell he was forcing his shots and he was trying to play up tempo and make things happen. But he settled in and started to look more comfortable as the game went on. He finished the game with 13 points, four assists and two rebounds he struggled shooting from three in the first half going one for five i don't think people should worry about dj wagner not hitting threes he won't have a lot of games this season where he's going one for five y'all feel what i'm saying plugins and the second half he made a nice step back three over a six eight defender he showed off his elite slashing ability getting to the rim and making shots in the first couple minutes of the game he dribbled the ball up the court and put a move on the defender and went downhill to convert a tough layup that's his biggest strength on offense is getting to the rim and being a playmaker hopefully he doesn't struggle from three a lot this season and he can knock down some shots out of all the freshmen, Robert Dillingham had the best game. He came off the bench this game and he had a team high 17 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and he was 6 for 11 from the field and 2 for 6 from 3. He shut off his speed and quickness and the defense couldn't do anything to defend him and when he was on the court with DJ Wagner, the game seemed to get out of hand when they were pushing the ball up the court for easy buckets. I was impressed with how good Robert Dillingham played on defense. If you watch the game, you can just tell he was locked in and playing hard and he was active with his hands and playing aggressive defense. He will by far be the best player coming off the bench for Kentucky if he never starts. He gives him a spark on offense and defense. Justin Edwards finished the game with 12 points and 5 rebounds. He was looking like a solid two-way player. He can do a little bit of everything on the court. He can probably average close to a double-double a game. A lot of odds would be on Justin Edwards this season. He was named to the preseason watch list for the Naismith Player of the Year. This is the most prestigious award in college basketball. Reed Shepard came off the bench and had 12 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. At times, he looked like the best player on the floor, and he was making tough shots and layups all game. Coach Cal said Reed Shepard has some of the best hands he ever coached, and he's looking like he's going to be an elite two-way player. He had two steals and two blocks this game. He has been shown he can play defense since the Global Jam and in preseason, so I'm sold to him being an elite two-way player this season. He can create his own shot from three, but he's going to be a solid catch and shooter for this team this season. It seems like everyone's willing to share the ball and pass, and if defenders overcommit when they're driving to the rim, they can kick the ball out to Reed Shepard for a three. Antonio Reeves, who's a veteran for this team, he finished the game with 11 points. The freshmen were chucking up shots and forcing stuff in the first couple minutes of the game, but Antonio Reeves looked poised and calm. Even though Coach Cow has all these talented freshmen guards i still think antonio reeves should be the focal point of the offense and the main scorer what do y'all think plugins should kentucky run the offense through antonio reeves or should coach cow let the freshman cook drop your opinions in the comments Trey Mitchell almost had a double-double. He finished the game with 9 points and 9 rebounds. He's going to be a nice big man for Kentucky. Don't be surprised if he averages a double-double this season. A dude there is looking like a more polished player. He improved a lot during the offseason. He was a starter this game. He had 5 points and 7 rebounds. He showed he can crash the boards and grab rebounds. He also showed his ability to get in the lane and be an aggressive scorer and try to draw fouls. He's going to have a breakout season. Even though it's only one game, we can see the potential of how good this team can be. There's a lot of talent on this roster. They just need to keep playing team basketball all season like they did in the season opener how do y'all feel about kentucky after game one how many games do you think kentucky will win this season drop your opinions in the comments drop a like on the video and sub to the channel turn on post notifications so you know when i post college basketball is back so i'll be dropping a lot of videos this month i appreciate y'all and i'll see you in the next video till next time